first time Western hunters are often shocked at the distances at which they spot game and then sometimes have to take a long shot. And one of the critical elements to success is a good range finder. But those can be complicated because now you have another piece of gear to lug around and work with. Binocular, range finder, rifle. Joseph Von Benedict is here with a new product that just might save the day. In the backcountry, it's important to simplify because otherwise at the moment of truth, the wheels can fall off the bus. Like Ron was saying, it's important sometimes to just be able to focus on your task of finding, ranging, and shooting an animal. And in those scenarios, you really don't want to be putting away a binocular, digging out a range finder, trying to find the animal in that little viewfinder and get a range on him, right? And then you're either in a hurry and you drop your range finder and it's banging around on the end of its lanyard, or you're careful and you put it away and then you got to regroup and figure out where your critter is again. Just a lot going on at the moment of truth that can really screw you up, especially if it's a rapidly closing window of opportunity. So over the years, I've become really partial to range finding binoculars. You pull out your binocular, you find your animal, you hit that range button and you know instantly how far away it is and whether or not you can have that shot. If it's ethical, within your ethical distance, right? Now, range finders with brains have become a big thing lately. And I'm here to show you the range finder with the biggest and best brain in the world currently. This is the Revic Acura BLR 10B. And it's a range finding binocular with the best uh, technology in it that's available on the market today. This is a sister company, Revic is of Gunworks, okay? Gunworks is the tip of the spear in precision hunting rifles. They've really promoted that long range hunting trend over the past decade or two. Whether or not you buy into that, the ability to have a ranging binocular that calculates your ballistic solutions for you can't be a disadvantage, right? With this, you pair it with your phone. You build a profile in your phone and then you sync that profile over to the binocular. Inside the binocular are atmospheric sensors. This thing reads your altitude, your temperature, your air density, all the important factors. You calibrate it at your whatever area you're hunting by hitting the calibrate function in the menu and just turning it in figure eights for a few seconds. Then it knows true and magnetic north and it incorporates Earth-based effects, if you can believe it or not. That's Coriolis effect and all those other things that are so hard to keep track of and compensate for at extreme range. I'm not gonna go into how to use this. This is not a, a how-to tutorial on this, right? You can go to Revix uh, website for those. They have a whole uh, string of really good how-to uh, videos on how to run this machine, right? Because that's what it is. This is not just an optic, it's not just a range finder. There's your fire button, that ranges, there's menu, and there's toggle up and down buttons. And it takes a little bit of, of learning. There's a bit of a curve to master this product just because it's very capable. And with extreme capability, sometimes comes complexity. Once you figure it out, once you have your profile downloaded in there, all you have to do is range your target Inside a range, a distance will pop up in your choice of yards or meters, whatever you've selected. And then that will alternate flashing with a ballistic come up, what you dial into your long range scope, right? You can also input wind. There's a clock inside using your arrows. You can toggle around to tell the computer inside what direction the wind's coming from and what strength which can be a huge advantage. Wind has always been a real challenge in the field, especially in big, wide open Western country like this, where you've got different finger draws, different canyons, ridges, cloud effects, all creating different wind vectors. You gotta be able to read the wind to make those challenging shots. Having a little bit of science-based data really helps that. A few necessary to know tech specs on this. It's just under 32 ounces, right? Incredibly, it'll range from 10 yards for you bow hunters, clear out to 5,000 yards. Now that's when it's tri tripod mounted, right? But for you ELR guys, extreme long range shooters that try and break records at two miles, three miles and so forth, this could be a very useful tool. 
It just comes initially in 10 by 42 power. The amazing thing is though, with this very powerful engine, I mean, what hunter's really gonna need to range to 5,000 yards? Nobody, right? Unless you just wanna know how far you have to hike to get to that mountain where the sheep are. But it's really nice to have an extremely powerful ranging engine because when conditions are adverse, you still get a fast, reliable read at 500 yards. So let's just turn and look out across this valley here and I'm gonna hit some trees off in the distance. There's 1,223 yards. 1325, 1782, 1908. At home, I've ranged as far handheld as 3,000 yards with this binocular on the mountain behind my house. Very cool, very powerful engine that is a, a tremendous benefit when you're desperately trying to get a read on how far that world-class buck or bull is. Now there's one other thing you should know about this and every other range finding engine that incorporates magnetic north in order to help compensate for earth-based effects, right? Magnetics screw with them. So you can't use a bin uh, binocular harness carry case that has magnets in it. I've traditionally always used magnetic cases with closures that are quick and easy, right? This is a new one by Badlands that's uh, got elastic closures on it, right? It's a little more fumbly for me, but I don't care because I know I'm not gonna screw with the brain inside this fine computer. So how about pros and cons? Because nothing's perfect, right? Well, the brain in this is pretty darn near perfect, but it's a little heavier than your average semi-compact 10 power binocular, right? It's gotta be, it's got more going on and it's still a lot lighter than a standalone binocular paired with a handheld rangefinder. Plus it's more compact. What else? The glass is good in these. It's not going to match your absolute top level optics for a few things, generally light purity and uh, color purity. That's because different coatings have to be used to enable this unit to function with the laser return that gives you the read. However, the glass is really darn good. How about price? Yeah, it's expensive. They run, oh, what is it? 26, 2700 bucks. Uh, suggested retail. You probably find them a little cheaper than that uh, in the real world market, right? There's not a lot to dislike about this binocular. So this product, well, it's not for everybody. It's not cheap, but it's extremely capable. And if you want to up your game in the back country or at any long range uh, shooting range, this is a tool you should strongly consider. It'll eliminate the middleman in that challenging moment when you know your target, but you don't know anything else about it and you have to fish for a rangefinder. Forget the, carrying that extra product, the extra weight, the extra fiddling. Hit the button, go to that generated dial-up solution and make the shot. I'm Joseph Von Benedict here on Ron Spomer Outdoors and I'll see you in the backcountry.